Hey, Audi. The moon is quite pretty, isn't it? Yes, right. For the record, I was told by the chat to ask Audi this question, and she totally dodged it. So let's pretend this didn't happen. I wasn't serious anyway. Hey guys, Jaden here. Version 1.11 reintroduces two past events, and one of them is the fireworks festival, which takes place every Sunday in August. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the fireworks festival, including the item showcase for the event. As this event is not available since launch, you need to have the game updated to version 1.11. You also need to have your Switch user linked to the Nintendo account, and have the residential services built on your island. Unlike the wedding season event in June, no event marker is needed for this event, since the update is available shortly before the event. Fireworks festival lasts from 7pm to 12am. During this time, 5 villagers will hang out at the plaza, and one of them will give you an item to celebrate the festival. 3 villagers will hang out near the houses, and 2 villagers will stay inside. Lazy villagers can still show up outside when you load the game, despite the fact that they go to bed at 11pm. By talking to Isabel, you get either a bulb bopper, a flower bopper, a heart bopper, or a star bopper to wear for the event. And this is what they look like. If you talk to Isabel again, you can submit your custom designs for the fireworks. Up to 10 custom designs can be submitted, and you can submit duplicates. Now sit back and enjoy the show. If you want to mix things up, you can talk to Red to get some goods for the event. Don't worry, he's not here to sell you fake stuff. By spending 500 bells at a raffle, you get one of the 24 possible prizes that you can use for the event. Some of them are consumable items, meaning they have finite uses. Luckily, you will not get duplicate items until you've gotten one of every item from Red. In addition, Red has different dialogues depending on what items you get. Here's a list of dialogues that Red has for every item. I will also show how these items function later in this video. Here are the 24 items you can get from the raffle. These items are also available in Nook's Cranny as part of the daily rotation in the cabinet. However, each item costs 600 bells and you can only get one kind of item every day. Let's see how these items work. Again, some of the items have finite uses.
Here's an interesting thing. Each time you use any food item, it counts as eating a fruit. Red did say there are no refunds if you drop your boba tea or balloon. They say when people tell you not to do something, you want to do that thing even more. So what happens if you drop your boba tea? There you have it, everything you need to know about the fireworks festival. I love the new items in the fireworks festival. I kinda wish that the items have infinite uses because fizzy apple juice does have infinite uses. Boba tea is the best, don't you agree? If you find this useful, be sure to like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye!